So this is crazy, okay, I have to show you this. My friend Alan, who is an ultra runner, he is running 1,000 miles around an entire country non-stop. We're gonna go find him and find out what is going on. Now I got this comment from him the other day. After me saying I was gonna come find him at some point, he said uh, he looks forward to it, it's mentally tough and he could do with a boost. So we're gonna go get in the van, we're gonna drive a couple of hours and we're gonna run up towards him and see if we can catch up with him and just see how this dude is feeling. So for those unfamiliar with the United Kingdom, this is it here. This is Scotland up here, this is England. And down here you have a country called Wales. Now he's running around the border of Wales. He's already run across the top here and then he's run around Anglesey, which is technically an island. There's bridges that connect it. And he's come down here to the Clin Peninsula and he's run all the way here to Port Maddock. Anyway, let's go and find out how things are going. So I think it's important to contextualize this, okay? Recently I did an ultra marathon, which is 50 kilometers. That is about 31 miles, like seven hours of running, give or take. There was a bit of stopping in there, but that really broke my legs. I couldn't do another mile. He's gonna be running all day, every day for weeks, a thousand miles nonstop. I cannot imagine what that will feel like. Okay, so we are in Harlech. So if I check the race tracker, I can see he's there, and that is about 335 miles. And I am here, which is Harlech, at 342. So that means we're about seven miles from him, which is good. Step one will be finding the coastal path. Then we just have to run north, and at some point soon we should come across him. So it's time to switch cameras, I'm afraid. Okay, so we found the uh, Welsh coastal path. Now it's gonna be running for about 45 minutes or so before we catch him. He's right here somewhere. I think he's just down here. Hey buddy, how you doing? Feeling good? <laughs> so this guy on the left, this is Alan. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing, mate? And this is Martin from Kelp and Fern, who's documenting Alan's journey. I found him. <laughs> how are you doing? How long is it? How far has it been? Yeah, we've done about three hundred and eighty-four miles. When did you start? This is day eight. Day eight. So we get a week. Day it is. What day is it? It's Monday. Monday. Got seven hundred and thirteen miles to go. <laughs> um, so as of last night, when we finished the first week, I've done three hundred and. 15 miles and climbed 28,000 feet in the first week. Oh, and I'm struggling today. Today is a tough day. Day one was worse than day four. Today is worse than yesterday. And then in three days time, I'll be better again. It's good times around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> My involvement here isn't just a tiny part of his journey. It's actually just a tiny part of his day. One of the days that he runs is something that I personally couldn't do. And doing that consecutively for weeks is something I honestly can't even comprehend. For me, running puts me into this kind of resting state where my brain just starts to function and organize itself. It kind of brings peace to what I'm doing. And it was watching Alan's long runs that made me realize I just need to slow down a little bit and let that process happen. My hope was that by dropping in, it might just break up the day a little bit, move things along and make those couple of hours just go a little bit quicker. Something I love about humans is that when you see someone doing something important, everyone kind of gets the feeling that they want to just rally behind them and support them. I think that's wonderful. Okay, so it's almost time for me to leave Alan. Uh, how are you feeling? Tired. Um... Mentally, I'm ready to go. My legs don't want to come with me. Uh, and I'm just climbing what feels like 18,000 steps with about another 17,000 to go. So if you want to um, keep up daily with what these guys are up to, over here we've got Martin from Kelp and Fern. So I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description. Um, and obviously go follow Alan on Instagram. You can follow his YouTube, you can follow him all over the place. I'll still be running, <laughs> many days to come. Just don't follow him on foot because he's going really far. 
So it's been about a week since I recorded that video. So Alan is now two weeks into his run. He's currently in the south of Wales here, about 600 miles into his journey. So it's more than halfway around. I wanted to use this YouTube channel to amplify what he's doing and the reasons that he's doing it. He has a Just Giving page, which I will link below, but the two best places to keep in touch and keep up to date with what he's doing are on his Instagram account and the Kelp and Fern YouTube channel. Martin is doing an amazing job of capturing that video and telling the story of this whole thing, which in itself is a pretty big undertaking. If you're feeling even a little bit inspired by what he's doing and the journey that he's on, please go over to one of those places and show him some support. I'm sure it would mean a lot to get a little bit of motivation at this point in the run. As always, friends, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.